Good morning, everyone. We are continuing here in the Psukim of Bitochen. Today's verses are Tehillim 118, verse 8, and verse 9. Toiv It is better for a person to take refuge in Hashem, mi b'toyach ba'odom, than to rely upon a man. And secondly, Toiv l'achasais ba'ashem, it is better to take refuge in Hashem, than to rely upon nobles, people that have power and might. Says David HaMelech, and much of the Sefer Chayvas HaLavavais in its Shara Bitochen, when he speaks about the Mitzvah Bitochen, revolves around this concept, and that is that we have a Rebbein Nesha'ilam, and HaKadosh Baruch is limitless in his power. He can do anything, whenever and wherever he wants. He can rescue a person, he can pull a person out of the hole, he can give the person sustenance, he can provide for them everything that they need. HaKadosh Baruch can give them Hatzlacha, success, he can grant them Siyata de Shemaya, he'll bring them Parnasa, he'll bring them a Shidduch, he'll bring them a wife, he'll bring them children, he can bring them health, he can bring them money, he can bring them everything that he wants. There's nothing that is holding HaKadosh Baruch back. And as long as a person will recognize that and they will live their life accordingly, they will see the benevolence and the chesed of HaKadosh Baruch in their lives on a constant basis. However, the minute that a person begins to pin their faith on the actions and the abilities of a human being, and they actually think that a human has more power than the Rebbe Nishayim, and therefore I have to be if I have to flatter another human being, I have to I have to kiss up to another human being that he should take care of me. I have to put all my faith in humanity that they are the ones that are going to provide for me what I need. And I think that perhaps it's been they all done people around me that I see this one is rich and that one is famous and this one is successful and this one's got extra money in the bank and that one has more power and this one has more strength or the the Nedivim who are the nobles of the town will call them in our, in our day and age the politicians and the governors and the mayors and the presidents and the people that are well connected with all their protexia. I need those people in my life to help me get what I want, to provide for me the things that are my what I would call my necessities or even the things that I would like to add to my life. Says David HaMelech, how foolish could a person be? You have a Rebbein Nesha'ilam HaKadosh Baruch who runs the world. He created you B'Tselem Elohim. He makes every single Yid, Banim Atem LaHashem Elokeichem. We are the children of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. What father would not take care of his children if he could? How many fathers are there out there in the world that would like to provide for their children more, but they simply, their hands are tied. They don't have the finances or the strength or the means or the savvy or the insight or the connections with other people in the world to help out their children. But if they did have all of those means, certainly they would help out a child to give him whatever it is that he needs to be able to go forward in life. The Rebbein Nesha'ilam is our Father in Heaven. Nothing is lacking from what He needs to be able to support us and take care of us and give us and build us up. And therefore a Jew who turns away from the Rebbein Nesha'ilam and ends up pinning his faith onto Adam into, in the hands of man and the Divim into the hands of nobility of the leadership of that, that town, that city, that country, that state that they live in, it's a foolishness beyond belief because it's taif, it's good, it's better to place all of your bitachin in HaKadosh Baruch Hu than to rely upon anybody else that in this world looks like they have the means. And there the Chayvah Slavavos writes that if a person is going to take the focus off of Hashem, and begin to put their trust and their faith into the hands of man and mankind and the like, then says HaKadosh Baruch Hu, well, if you're showing me that you don't really need me, you'd rather rely upon the actions and the abilities of man around you, then you know what? Let them take care of you. I'll back out from this relationship, which itself would be one of the most tragic parts of our existence 
because we need our Kaddish Baruch Hu, we need Hashem in our lives, we need Hashem to help us, to build us up, to take care of us, to help us move in the right direction in this world. But once that you put your faith in man, Hashem says, you want them to take care of you? Let them take care of you. But if Taiv Lach says by Hashem, we realize it's much better to seek refuge in Hashem and trust in Hashem, then HaKadosh Baruch says, my dear child, you have nothing to worry about. I'm here for you always, and I'm going to take very good care of you. Be'ezras Hashem. Have a wonderful day.